Coming on in. foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. And I love the smile on the face of the offensive player. Sometimes luck is on your side. I don't know how that shot went in, but and one. Giannis Adetokounmpo trying to cash in on a three-point play. He's shooting 71% so far. Free throw. Good for Giannis. It's a three-point play as the Bucks add to their lead. Walker. Christian Thompson with the slam. An easy two, get back on defense. Milwaukee with the basketball. Finish that! Leaving no doubt, slams it down. I don't think I could do that on a five-foot rim. I can, because that's my only choice. <laughs> Giannis with it up top. Up six to Holiday. Oh, defender pulling the chair. Walker into the front court. He'll run the offense. Here comes the screen. Now a steal by Milwaukee. You better get back on D. This thing is not over. To Lopez. And a pass stolen by Boston. It goes down. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. Bucks at the controls to Middleton. Holiday. Surveys the floor. And count the basket inside. That's lunch pail business right there. Don't worry about the no call. Keep powering through. Finishing inside the paint on that one. We're watching the clinic right now. We're watching basketball one-on-one. Whoever this professor is, he needs to get paid top dollar. To Holiday. Middleton. Giannis for two, followed up. Brooke Lopez with the slam. You see, Ed, that's the advantage of growing up playing with and against a twin. A lot of fights, a lot of physicality, and controlling the glass is everything. Got him. Got him. Full throttle, right to the basket for the deuce. And here's a next level comment for you. K-Walk is one of the rare guys in the league today that blurs the lines between the streets and the league. Slubble getting the ball across half court. Time to shuffle things up. Bucks have it. Holiday and the defender over pursues, and he's called for it. The timing was just a tad bit off. First one, count it. No back-to-back -back free throws here. He missed the second. Teague with the basketball. The deficit now up to five. Jeff Teague with that shot. He's five for eight. That's a strong finish. Regardless of contact, finishing strong is key. And a whistle. A simple touch foul. First one goes down. Second one off the mark. He goes one for two. Oh, bad pass, and the Bucks have it. Knocked loose. Celtics come away with it. Oh, emphatic slam. Jay, I'm surprised. He had a chance to wrap him up. Well, you're not the only one surprised. This guy is not a good free throw shooter. You never let him have an easy bucket. If anything, make him earn it at the charity strike. What a 
the finish. Now the Bucks gonna signal for a timeout as they dig into their bag of tricks, trying to draw up the game winner. some changes with some new personnel on the floor. No time left in this quarter. We have a tie ball game. Shifting gears, here come some substitutions. And the extra period begins. Now ready with a couple of free throws. Smart play to rip through the extended arm of the defender. That will get you to the free throw line every time. coming shooting 75 percent so far tonight and he connects on the first free throw good free throw shooting knocks down a pair celtics have it here we go walker Here comes the screen. Walker. Yes! And the foul. And a chance at three coming up. People become so fixated on the hands or the arms or the strengths of the arms. I look at the legs. The strength of his legs help him power through that play. That's how you get and ones. Tristan Thompson at the line for a chance at a three-point play. Shooting 50%. Some yes, some no in this contest. Got it at the line. Giannis in control of the basketball. Down a point. Tristan Thompson rejects it. Just incredible timing on that swap. Brown into the front court. Looking to make something happen. Knocked loose. Picked up by the Bucks. Middleton to Holiday. Goes reverse to lay it in. I love the drive to the basket there. Instead of trying to go around or over, go through. Got a piece mm. of it. Jumping out the gym right now, Ed. Great anticipation. Giannis with it up top. Leads one. Straight down the middle of the lane. Way to punch it home. It's easy to become mesmerized when you watch a player who can create off the dribble. We call that dancing. When you allow a player to dance with that much space, that's prob city. Walker. Fires the three. Shemi Ojale is going to get a chance at three here. Numbers not in his favor. 61% for his career. And hits the first free throw. Missed the middle one. One more coming. And he missed the free throw. One for three on that try. Holiday controls the basketball. Leads a bucket. Adetokounmpo to Lopez. Off the assist. He's been doing this for years. The physicality in which he plays 
No one wants to see that. You're going to leave the game with black and blue marks all over your body. Tatum. Yes. Give the advantage to the shooter. Well, the defense has been good, but the shot-making ability has been better. And sometimes for NBA players at this level, the more you're in their face, the more it helps them center their focus on the target, which is making the shot. I know it sounds weird, but trust me, it's a real thing. Giannis in control of the basketball. His team up by one. Couldn't keep it in. Last touch by Giannis Adetokounmpo. Substitution being made in this one. Walker. Giannis Adetokounmpo, huge block. You know why? I don't see anybody on the defensive end standing up out of position. I see everybody squatted down, really active with their hands. That's the mentality that will lead you to where you want to go. To Adetokounmpo. Middleton to Lopez. Able to convert inside. You've heard it before. Slow and steady wins the race. This approach might be working out after all. Off the iron. It came out. To Kemba Walker. Opposing coach is going to counter, make some changes of his own. Now a steal by Milwaukee. Holiday to Adetokounmpo. And scores. This type of game needs to be celebrated. This is the type of culture that is fostered when you play with unselfish players. When you give up a little bit of yourself and you make your teammate look great, that's the difference between winning and losing. So when you see these guys smiling, when you see them giving each other high fives, that's because of the energy that was created from the pass. The pass is one of the most brilliant things we have in this game. And look out! That's the intensity you need to see. Whenever a player running back on defense after a dunk like that holds the inside of his forearm, it lets you know how hard he dunked that basketball. Adetokounmpo to Holiday. Almost, and he's not getting the call. And that'll be out of bounds. Last touch by Brown. Bucks at the controls. To Middleton. Holiday. Great defense there, forcing the pickup. From the outside, no good. Across the timeline, it's Walker. Down three. Rebound pulled down by Giannis. To DiVincenzo. Adetokounmpo, that is great vision to set it up. Oh, Jay, he commands the paint this time down. Now the Celtics going to use a timeout, but this game's in the balance, and time is of the essence.
He knows he needs his bench. Brad Stevens turns to his reserves. To Walker. Ah, no good. Celtics have it. To T. Here comes the screen. T. Probing the defense. To Kemba Walker. 4-3. Kemba Walker is going to get three shots here. He's perfect from the line so far. Knocks down the first. Knocks down the second free throw. Perfect from the line. Hits all three of them. No good. Defense catching a break there. Play is stopped. Timeout Boston. They trail by two. And the question, do they look for the tie in overtime? Or do they go for it all with a three? Deep three. And the buzzer. Jason Tatum is going to get a chance at three here, shooting 80% in this contest. First free throw is good. Second of three, no good. Oh boy, not this down. need this. Now a whistle, and we'll get a timeout called by Milwaukee. And this one's been back and forth from the start. They're still tied in this final minute of overtime. And that does it for the period. Scoreboard says it's all even. He's going to play the matchup. Brad Stevens making some moves. Let's do it. Overtime is underway. Holiday to Lopez. He throws it down. Mm -hmm. We call that get your money and put it in the bank. <laughs> with it up top. Down two. Thompson. Yes! And a foul. He'll have a chance at a three-point play. The offense has very little to lose on those type of plays if they know they can, number one, create contact, and number two, still get the ball up. You need to assert yourself fully on the defensive end by initiating the contact and not allowing the offensive player to get that ball above his waist. Jason Tatum trying to cash in on the three-point play. Shooting 75% so far tonight. And add one more to his total. To DiVincenzo. Oh, the touch at the rim. Count it. That's what I'm talking about, Ed. It's that simple. Put the ball in the bucket. And a throw down. If you didn't dunk that, then we would have to talk about it. 
to Middleton. Could not throw it down. And the reward, a couple of shots at the line. Aggressive play there, but you can't fault the defender for being up in the shooter. You need to contest shots, each and every one of them. First try, no good. Missed the second, 0 for 2. The Bucks at the controls. Here comes the screen. Adeta Kunbo, great feed, sets it up. Tried to slam it down, but it comes out. Giannis Adeta Kunbo with the block. Here's one of the biggest secrets as we move into this new age of basketball, especially in the draft room. You have to draft players with sides and length. That's the biggest deterrent for any team offensively. To Walker. And he's fouled. Very close, Jay. The results, he's going to the line. Love the fact that the shooter created contact on the upward motion to shoot the basketball. Big time play. Kemba Walker, a couple of free throws on the way. Hasn't missed yet. First one, count it. No good on the second. It's a one of two trip. Holiday in possession. They trail by two. To Adeta Kunbo. Has a chance. Gets a look. Can't hit. Walker with the basketball. He'll run the offense. Screen coming. Off the mark. With defense like that, little margin for error. Nothing going here on that drive. To DiVincenzo. Baseline drive, the shot won't fall. Stuffs it down with authority. Gotta love the rim rockers. Gotta be careful, though. Don't hang on the rim too long. You might get a T. Knock loose. Holiday. Celtics have it. Nice pace. Sets it up and slams it down. And that is the sign of an unselfish team. When everybody in transition thinks they have a chance to get the ball because you have a willing passer, somebody willing to make other players on his team look great, that's only going to force your players to play that much harder on offense and give you more energy on the defensive end. To Holiday. Adeta Kunbo. And the rebound taken by Brown. That's what you want. Kemba Walker with the two. When I think about Kemba Walker, I think about a self-made elite PG. He's a little guy that thrives amongst the NBA giants. And he's fearless. Let me tell you about how fearless he is. Even Alvin Gentry said he's probably the biggest competitor he's ever seen. You could put him right up there with the likes of Kobe Bryant from a competitive standpoint. That goes to show you that Walker will do anything and everything to beat you every possession. He's not shy about shooting it from out there, but he misses this time. Boston with the basketball. Tosses. Oh. Giannis with it up top. Down six. Middleton to DiVincenzo. Why even try that time? I'm going to start calling him the windshield wiper. Just erasing all the mistakes. Knock loose. Bucks have it. Holiday to DiVincenzo. Out of bounds the call. Last touch by Jason Tatum. It stays with Milwaukee. Time for some new personnel into the game. Hey, hey. 
Middleton to Holiday. Too much contact and free throws coming. Ed, as a defender, you cannot, I repeat, you cannot foul in the act of upward motion into your shot. Your timing needs to be better. First one goes down. Can't connect on the second, and he splits the pair. Oh, Jalen Brown above the rim. Now the Bucks going to signal for a timeout as they'll make sure they're all on the same wavelength here in this fourth quarter of play. Adetokounmpo to Holiday. Adetokounmpo to Middleton. Adetokounmpo to DiVincenzo. Ah, can't miss those. Tatum. Can't connect. And they're going to play this one out to its conclusion as we get an intentional foul. That means free throws coming up in what is a seven-point game. First try at the line, no good. No good. Missed them both. Dedekunbo, open look, just off the mark. Deep three at the buzzer. It's a victory here for the Celtics as they win this one in double overtime. That does it. For my partner, Jay Williams, and our entire crew, I'm Ed Cohen. This has been a presentation of the NBA on EA Sports. For more, log on to easports.com. As we say, so long, everyone. Here we go with the EA Sports post-game wrap-up. The Celtics won this game after a close finish. The defense in this matchup was outstanding. When they weren't blocking shots, they were making steals. And it all came together for a terrific win. What you see here is how the majority of the points were scored for the Boston Celtics. The Bucks finished on the losing end of a close score. They did a great job with their ball movement forcing the defense to constantly make adjustments. Unfortunately, it wasn't enough for the win. Here are the guys who put up the most points for the Milwaukee Bucks. Game track. Three-point shooting. Each of these teams were solid with their long-range shooting. So by extension, they were pretty poor with their perimeter defense. Closing out on shooters must always happen, whether you're tired or not. Player of the game. Tatum was happy to throw down plenty of dunks. And if the defense happened to be there, he brought them along for the ride. These are the top plays of the game. Number two. Number one. See y'all next time. Jalen Rose signing out.